my head. Ow. What just happened? Oh. Where? This isn't my bed. Am I still dreaming? Huh. Um, I, I, I guess I'm still dreaming. Okay. That's weird. Uh... As you reach for the handle to open the door, you hear voices on the other side talking amongst, amongst themselves. I'm telling you! A young girl's voice says. They fell from the sky! I saw it! An older woman sighs, and a chuckle from an older man follows after. <laughs> She's always had an active imagination, the man says. But it's true! The girl continues to argue. What? You continue to listen to the conversation. Now, how would they have gotten up there in the first place? I don't remember seeing any wings, the woman states. Um... The younger girl pauses. You remember a forest below you, as you fell through a sea of clouds. You can't help but wonder. Are they talking about me? You hesitate for a moment before quietly opening the door and looking out into the hallway. Outside, you see three people. First, a young brunette girl with orange wings and a feathery tail. You can't see her face since she's facing away from you. Next, a tall man with white hair and matching colored ears and a tail similar to that of a wolf's. His eyes are cold and piercing light blue. Looking into them sends shivers down your spine. Last but not least, a woman with black hair with white highlights. A long black and white striped tail curls around her comfortably as she looks at the younger girl. The woman's eyes are warm and inviting with a soft green color. Hearing the door crack open, the people look towards you. Um, hi, hello. The older woman is the first to speak. Oh, you're awake, good. Are you feeling all right? Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm fine. The girl steps forward, eyes wide and brows furrowed with frustration. Tell them you fell from the sky! Uh. Sunny, the woman snaps at the girl. The girl, Sunny, pauses and looks back at her. The woman takes a deep breath and recomposes herself. <sighs> Sunny, dear, they're probably confused. It's best not to overwhelm them with questions and demands right away. But it's true! Sunny. Um, actually, I, I think it is true. I remember seeing the top of the trees from really high up. I thought it was just a dream, though. The woman pauses and looks at you with a mix of disbelief and confusion. Sunny perks up in response. Ha! I told you! She says with a large grin on her face. <sighs> Unbelievable. The woman simply states. Um, can I ask y'all something? Of course. Apologies. The woman says, I hope you're not overwhelmed. Oh, n no, it's it's fine. Please ask whatever questions you have, the woman says. We'll do our best to answer them. Um, well, first of all, um, I never got your names. Who are you? Oh, dear. We got so distracted, we never even told you our names. Yeah, uh, yeah. What, hey, who are you? She then puts her hand to her chest. My name is Loretta Booker. She says with a smile. Loretta continues, gesturing to the man next to her. This is my husband, Andreas. She pauses. 
Uh, don't mind his intimidating looks. He's a big softy. Oh, okay. And as you must know already, she gestures to the young girl. This is our very imaginative, imaginative daughter, Sunny. Okay. Um, hi. My name is Marshy. It's good to meet you, Marshy. Do you have any more questions? Um, where am I? Ah, oh, yes, you're not from here. You're in Modelia. Sunny brought you to our home after she found you in a forest just outside the town. She then adds on the side, I think she should have left the hunters, let the hunters know and let them handle the situation, but bless her kind heart, she went out she went out and carried all, you all the way back here. Uh, hunters? Um, she blinks in slight confusion. Yes, the hunters. The ones in charge of keeping the town safe. Oh, so, so like, guards? I, uh, hmm, I guess you could say that. They do a bit more than just simply guard. But I'm no professional in that matter. It would be better to ask one of them if you're really curious. Oh, okay. Uh, one last question. Why do you guys have, like, animal parts? They all go silent at the question and stare at you in confusion. Did they say something wrong? Um, Sunny speaks up. You have them too, you know. What? <laughs> you reach up and feel soft, pointed things on your head. You tighten your grip on them and you feel a pinch of pain when you do so. Upon feeling the pain, you immediately let go. The others stare at you with wide, concerned eyes. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, dear, do you know what you are? Loretta asks. Uh, I, I, from last I checked, a uh, human with apparently weird fluffy things that hurt when I squish them. Uh, not quite. Uh. Wow, you really hit your head when you fell from the sky, didn't you? Sunny chimes in. Wait, uh, well, if I'm not a human, what am I? You, like us, are an animan. Loretta explains. Is that like a human-animal hybrid thing? I suppose you could say that. Oh, okay, okay. Um, let me guess. Let me guess. Am I a am I a cat? Uh, no. Your ears are far too large to be that of a cat animal, and your tail isn't the correct shape. I would say you're most likely a fox. I have a tail. <laughs> uh, let's let's move on. Do you have any other questions? Uh, no. I think I think that's I think I'm good. Well then, if you're all good, why don't you and Sunny go outside and join the festivities? Loretta says. She turns to Sunny. Sunny, could you give them a tour of the village? <gasps> Sunny perks up. Yes, let's go. She runs over and grabs your arm. Pulling you down the stairs. Blah! Oh my gosh. Oh. Sunny, hello, let me. Hey guys. Andreas and Loretta seem to have already gotten themselves into deep conversation. Uh, uh, uh. I'll just leave them be. Okay, I'm coming! Oh, there you are. Um, well, I guess we're ready to go. Where are we going? Oh, wow. It's so nice. It's so pretty! Is there, like, a festival? Well, I guess we start with you. Hi! What's going on here? Hello? Hello there! Can you guess what game I'm hosting? The mouse Anwin says as she moves over to a different area in her stall. Um... Charades? Good guess, but no. I'm doing a scavenger hunt. <gasps> that sounds like fun, Marshy. We should play. Sunny beams. Um, I mean, sure. How, how do we play? 
Great. The rules are simple. Find one of each item on the list and bring them back before the end of the festival for a prize. Okay, cool. Uh, list. Okay, so, do you have the list, Sunny? I assume you do. Okay. Well, I guess we'll, while we're looking around, we can do that. Actually, wait, who are you? I never got to ask. All right. My name is Lenita Adams Adamson. I lived in w Wedelia for a good while. And to give a fun fact about myself, I like to dance. Lenita says with a smile on her face. <gasps> oh, okay. Well, <laughs> it was nice meeting you. I hope to see one of your dances one day. I'm sure they're great. Um, anyway, she's super nice. Um, how about you? Hello, who are you? Hi, welcome to my booth. Take a good look at my wares if you want. Or if you want, you could just sit around and relax for a while. The raccoon animan says as he leans back and looks up at you with eyes half open. Uh, okay. Uh, well, let's ask your name first. Who are you? Oh, the birds are loud. Okay. Name's Bud. If you want to stick around, I'd be willing to tell you a story. I understand if you'd rather go join the festivities, festivities though, so we can save the story for later. So if your name is Bud, can I call you Buddy? No. Okay, um, well, uh, what are you selling? You said, oh. Feather. A gingerbread man. A bone. Chocolate wrapped coin? Or, uh, wait. You just have random stuff. Oh wait, I don't have money. I guess I'll I'll come back later once I figure out how to get money. Do you know how to get money? Um, we'll be back later. Bye. <laughs> um. Hello. Who are you? Uh, uh, hi, hi there. Are you are you looking to p play tic tac toe? The ram admin says with a stutter as he organizes the stall. Um, maybe, but first, who are you? I I'm Scott Holder. I'm just your regular admin that lives he here in Wedelia. Besides that, there isn't really that much remarkable stuff to say, Scott says bluntly. Oh, okay. Well, what's, what's your game? All we'd like to play. Cool. Now, who's going to be the red and who's going to be the blue? He says patiently. Oh, we we can choose. Um, Marshy, how about you pick one? Sunny says. Uh, okay. Um, how about I like blue. Okay, so is it this stuff? That's red. This one's blue. Okay, so it's like tic-tac-toe, right? That's what he said it was. So we get some of these and... Who goes first? Does red go first or does blue goes first? Okay. Um... Center. Okay. I'm really bad at tic-tac-toe. Um, right here? Uh, okay. Uh, here! I don't- I don't think this is working. Um, what happens if we tie? Um, I think we both lost. <laughs> Do we just leave it there? Oh well. Um, moving on. Hello. Uh, do you guys have anything going on here? Or are you just hanging out? Oh, hello there, little ones. 
Hope you've all been taking care of yourselves. The older cat animan says with a sweet smile. Um, who are you? My name is Shani. This here is my daughter Nadia. If you ever need help with something, or just want to say hello, you're always welcome to stop by. She smiles. Um, are you- are you selling anything? Oh, I'm not selling anything, she says. However, little Nadia is selling flower crowns. I'm just helping her with the more business side of things. Oh, that's so sweet. So you must be Nadia, right? Hello? I'll go look around uh, while they sort out their their flower crown and stuff. She's she's still working on it. Um, this this is really pretty. Am I allowed to like? It's just a dream. I'm not gonna get in trouble for this. Like, <gasps> I broke it. Oh, we're gonna pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Totally didn't didn't break it. <laughs> oh, nothing, nothing. I was just looking around. Um, great, lots of things to explore in this little town of yours. <laughs> uh, how about you? What are you doing? Yo, want to show off your skills and shoot some hoops? The cat animan says while bouncing a ball against the ground. He has a slightly bored look in his eyes. What? Uh, you what? Okay. Um, wait, who are you? Call me Nathan. If you ever want to hang out, I don't mind. Maybe wait for after the festival, though. Mom said I had to run a booth, so I can't leave my post. But if you want to play a game of hoops, then I'm down to join ya. Yep. Sure, let's play! Great. You get three shots, grab a ball, and give it a go. Um, I mean, if you want to join, you seem kind of bored. He pauses, grabbing the ball and holding it. A grin appears on his face. Mm, sure, I'm willing to play. Okay, let's play! Where's the balls? Are they, are they in here? Basketball. You got three, right? We get three shots? Okay, how do we do this? I'm really bad at basketball. Are you good at basketball? Uh... Yeah! I want to do over. I want to do over. Okay, let's try the smaller one. Yeah! Now that was an overshot. Hold on. I can- I got this! I got this! Let me just- Yeah! Oh. Did I get it? Um. <laughs> it's a little stuck. Oh, okay. That was fun. I'm really bad. I'm sorry. I made myself a fool. I, I'm sorry that you had to climb up the post to get that down. Does that happen often? <laughs> That's a little awkward. E, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go. Bye. Hi! What do you have? What are you doing here? Hey there. Welcome to my shop. I have a little sweet delicacies, baked goods, you never want. What can I get you? Uh, who are you? Grissom. Janae Grissom. I make the best goods in all of Wedalia. I'd even say I make the best goods in all of Gaia. Why don't you try some for yourself? Uh, I don't have money, but I'll take a peak season. Maybe I'll get money later. You got... Uh, what is that? Fairy bread? Shortbread? Normal bread? Banana bread? Ooh, that's ooh, zucchini bread. What the hell? I might I might hook you up on that banana bread once I can find how to get money. Uh, maybe I can do some jobs around here? Do you guys- are you guys selling? Or like, off- are- Would you- Would you like some? I would actually- I'm kind of- I kind of want the banana bread. Not gonna lie, it sounds pretty tasty. You can cheer! <gasps> okay. <laughs> banana bread, banana bread, banana bread, banana bread. 
Gimme. Yeah! Let's see. A sweet treat that can't be beat. I'm not hungry. Well, I'll be nibbling on this. I'm- I hope it's good. I hope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go check the flower crowns again. Okay. Are you good? The little girl looks up at you with a smile. Hello, would you like to buy a flower crown? <gasps> um, I would love to, but first, what, tell me about yourself. My name is Nadia. It's nice to meet, it's nice to meet you. Mama said it's, Mama said the best way to greet someone is with a smile, so here. She gives you a big smile. Aww. I'll give you a smile back, but also uh, let me see your flower crowns. <gasps> okay, so you got rose crown, dandelion crown, tulip crown, cornflower crown, azure bluet. Hmm. These are very cute. Very, very cute. I might consider. I am very indecisive though. Um. I also, I think I like daisies. Can I have a custom crown? Can I get a custom daisy crown? Do you think she'll do that for me? We'll see. Maybe, we'll see. Maybe she's a little picky on her crowns. You don't have any daisies. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Maybe I'll get a, a, a daffodil flower. I mean, not daffodil, it's dandelion. Maybe I'll get a dandelion crown. Um... Okay, so it looks like this is the last booth, right? Hello? <laughs> welcome, welcome! You're just in time for my game! The, the young fox animan says with a very excited tone as her tail swishes behind her. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll play, but first, who are you? My name is Eloisa. Eloisa Fairley. If you want to be official about it. I'm pretty well known around here, so considering you- so considering you had to- Wait. Considering you didn't know who I was, either you're new in town or you've been living under a rock for the past couple of years. Either way, it's great to meet ya. She gives you a smile with a wink. Alright, let's see- what's your game here? Alright, the goal is simple. Pop all the balloons. You can either play as a team and try to beat the time, or play against each other, and the first one to pop all the balloons wins! How would you like to play? Ooh, versus sounds fun. How do you feel about versus, Sunny? I think we'll do versus. <laughs> you don't get time to think about it. Alright, some competition! That's what I like to see! Each of you grab a bow and some arrows. The bow. The bows will each have a color. Only hit the balloons of the same color. Unless you want to give your opponent more points. Get ready. When I say go, start shooting. Okay. Just make sure you don't shoot each other or anyone around you. Alright, let's play. Oh, did you grab both of the bows? You said you were good with a bow? I'm not- I don't know if I'm good with a bow. I've never really tried it. Give it a shot, no pun intended. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, okay. So... Okay. So, I was blue last time, so I'm blue again. Okay. I'm really bad at this. Uh, let's see, I can maybe get this one. This one's low. Okay, I got one! I got one. Um. That one. No. I'm hitting things I'm not supposed to be. No. Okay, I got it. Wait. Oh, you got all of yours. Um. I think I lost. <laughs> I did say I'm good with a bow. Uh, yeah, you are good with a bow. Oh. <laughs> um, bye. It was a good try. 
Well, I guess you win. Do you get a prize? Did, did she get a prize? Yes, we have a winner. Come get your prize. Okay, okay. Pick something good. Pick something good. Sunny looks over the various prizes before eventually settling on a wooden boomerang. A boomerang? Yeah, I've always wanted to try one. I have no idea how they work, though. I guess you're going to have to practice with them. I guess so. Come on, let's keep going. Okay, what's something we haven't really done yet? I think we stopped at all the shops? Was there any more that we missed? Um, I think we got everything. Is there anything you wanted to stop it again? Oh, wait. Are you testing out the boomerang? I think I, I heard it. How's it work? Oh god. Oh! Oh! That same thing- that thing seems a little dangerous. Um. <laughs> seems fun though. Okay. Well, let's see. Is there anything over here that we missed? As you and Sunny make your way through the village, going through booths and playing some games, a person walks up to you. Uh, hello? Excuse me, little ones, the stranger says in a soft, sweet voice. I don't wish to intrude on your fun, but I could use some assistance if you would be so kind. Um, uh, yeah, sure, we could help you. What's up? Oh, thank you so much. They smile at you before continuing to explain. I'm working on something special for the festival, and I needed some help get getting materials and ingredients. Um, yeah, what kind of stuff do you need? Oh, they should be quite simple enough to find. I just need some decorations and ingredients to bake a cake, they say. I'm sure some of the vendors will even be willing to share. Um, y yeah, but why, why don't you just ask yourself? Oh, I wouldn't want to... I wouldn't want to ruin the fun. I wouldn't want to ruin the surprise by asking everyone. And besides, everyone would be more willing to help someone they know rather than a str Everyone would be more willing to help someone they know rather than a stranger like me. Well, like, yeah, I guess that's fair. Uh, yeah, we can get the stuff for you. Thank you both so much again. When you gather everything, come find me in the village. Yeah, sure. We'll do. Alright. Um let's let's go. After the stranger leaves, you turn to Sunny. You're about to ask where they should look where they should look where you should look first when you notice the look on Sunny's face. Um you okay? What's wrong? Huh? Oh, nothing. I've just never seen that person in the village before. I thought maybe they were a friend of yours, but neither of you seem to recognize each other, so now I'm a little confused. Uh, maybe they're just visiting? Or, you know, maybe they also fell from the sky. Oh, maybe. Maybe they also have fuzzy memories because of the fall. I... Well, actually, my memories seem fine, so I'm not sure. Hmm. Sunny, t Sunny shakes her head. We're getting distracted. We should go find the things they need. Uh, yeah, right. Let's let's go find the stuff. Uh, where should we start? Uh, well, they ne they needed cake ingredients, right? Let's see if the baker will share some. <gasps> yeah, that works. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Where was the baker? Oh wait, wasn't- she was right here. Hey! Oh, I didn't return the stuff to the- Hold on, let me go return this to the booth first. Um, sorry, I kind of stole your bow and your arrows. Mad B. Anyway, hi! Hey, welcome to my shop. I have all the sweet, delicious baked goods you ever want. What can I get you? Hi, it's us again! Uh, can we ask you something? Oh, it's you again. What do you need? Can we borrow some baking ingredients? She stares at you, her brow brows furrowed in offense. Why would I give you my ingredients? Can't you see I'm running a business here? I need this stuff. 
pretty please? What part of no do you not understand? Oh. Sunny taps your shoulder. Uh, let's try somewhere else for the ingredients. Oh, okay. Actually, first, first, um, can, can we, can we, can we get some decorations maybe at least? <sighs> Fine, I guess. I don't really need them. She carefully takes a few decorations from her booth and hands them to you. Here, is that enough? Oh, yes, yes, thank you. Thank you very much. You owe me. Ah, okay. Uh, we'll buy a snack later. Again. Sunny gives her a smile before turning to you. Let's try somewhere else for the ingredients. Right, right. Thank you for the, the, the stuff. Um, I, I, we won't bother you anymore. I'm sorry. Um, um. That didn't go well. Well, you have an idea of who else we can ask? Hmm. She thinks for a moment. Oh, uh, maybe Mrs. Compton will be willing to share some stuff with us. Uh, who is that? I, did I did I meet them? I don't remember. She's the nice cat lady. She was helping her daughter sell flower counts, remember? Oh, right! Yeah, 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 yeah! She's super nice. She'll definitely help us out. Yeah, let's go! Okay. Oh, uh, she was over here, right? Hello? We have an- I have a question for you. If you would be so kind. Hello again, little ones. Do you need something? The lady gives you both a warm smile as you walk over to her. Hello again, Mrs. Compton. Sunny smiles at the lady. Can we ask you something? Of course. What is it, little ones? Um, do you happen to have any baking ingredients you're willing to share? Baking ingredients? Are you gonna bake a cake so are you two going to bake a cake or something for the festival? Um, well, not not us. It's actually for someone else. Oh, how sweet of you. The lady smiles. I can go grab some ingredients for you. Is there anything in specific that you need? Uh, like you said, stuff to make a cake. Alright, I'll be right back. Will you two watch over Nadia for me while I'm away? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Of course. Thank you, dearies. I'll be, I'll be quick. With that, the lady walks away, leaving you with Nadia. The child looks at you. Uh, where's Mama going? Uh, Mama went to go find some stuff for us. She'll be back soon. Uh, okay. The girl goes back to braiding flowers together into crowns. Uh, maybe we can do something to pass the time? Sunny suggests. Uh, yeah, like what? Maybe a game. Nadia's ears perk up and she looks at you. <gasps> can I play? Of course! Sunny smiles. Anything you want to play in particular? Hmm... Hide and seek! I haven't played hide and seek in a while. Nadia points to you. You're it first! What, what, me? What, oh boy, hold on, I didn't sign up for this. Um. Yes, me and Sunny will hide and you find us. Uh, okay. Oh no, I'm bad at hiding. I always get found first. Count to 20 and we'll hide. Nadia says. Ready? Ready. I'm not ready! Go! Okay, okay. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20. 
Okay, so let's see, let's see, who do we... You know, she, she didn't lie when she said she's really bad at hiding. Oh, oh, no, oh, honey. Oh, honey. Hey, Sunny. You find Sunny rather quickly. She, she was right. She's really bad at hiding. So bad, she was practically in plain sight. Hey, Sonny. How you doing? <sighs> Told you I was bad. Hey, well, I found you so you can help me find Nadia now. Okay. Would she have climbed a tree? She wouldn't be in the same spot. Okay, wait. We gotta go somewhere else. Why is the door broken? Um, don't, don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, I found it like that. I totally didn't accidentally break it trying to open it. Um. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yep. Totally. It's fine. Nadia! I have no idea where this child is, bro. Oh no! Oh, I- oh, did we lose- did we lose Shani's child? Oh no! Um, um, um... Nadia? Do you, have you seen a child? No? Okay, um... Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh my goodness. She can't have gone far! Yeah, she can't have gone far unless she ran into the forest. That would have been- that would have been disastrous if she did that. Oh dear. Okay, um... Hello? Nadia? Where did you go? I don't like hide and seek. I'm bad at it. <laughs> I'm so bad at finding people. Are you on the roof? Hello? Are you in a tree? Are you... Are you underground in a hole somewhere? You hear a giggle from upwards. Up! You are in a tree! Which tree are you in? Or are you on the roof? Where are you? Do I have to climb on the roof? Okay. You're also giggling. What are you laughing at? Did you find her? You're on the roof! How did you get up there? How do I get up there? Come down! Okay, there you are. How did you get up there? You had a more difficult time finding Nad Nadia. The kid's kid pretty good at hiding. Eventually you found her tucked away in her little hidey hole on the roof. And she, go she giggles when she sees you. You passed me so many times! <laughs> I'm once again the hide-and-seek champion! Congrats! Let's go find your mom. She's probably back by now. And she's probably freaking out because her daughter disappeared. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh me oh my. Oh goodness gracious. Hey! Um, we totally didn't. We were just playing hide and seek. Don't worry about it. You good now? There you go. <laughs> you make your way back just in time for Shani to return with the items you asked for. I hope this is enough for your needs. Oh thank god we beat her. Okay. <laughs> Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. This is perfect, this is perfect. Of course, little ones, she says with a smile. Take care now. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Mrs. Compton, Shawnee. Uh, what would you rather us call you? Um. Thank you very much. Okay. I guess we got everything we need. Let's go back, let's go find the, that person. I just saw her. She ran off. Where'd she go? Where'd they? Where'd they go? There you are. We got the stuff for you! With the items in your hand, you make your way back to the stranger. To the stranger from earlier. You find them alone, watching the festivities from a distance. We're back! They turn to you with a smile. I presume you got what I asked. Yup, yup. Here's the ingredients, and here are the decorations. We got some banners, some 
some um, smaller banners. I don't know what to call the difference. But yes, we got them. Perfect. They take all the items from you. Thank you again for your assistance. If it's not an issue, I have one more request. Um, yeah, sure. Wh what is it? I was thinking of adding something unique and special. As a finishing touch to the cake and decor, they explained. If you two find- could you two find me a black rose? Uh, a black rose? Uh, wouldn't you want something more pretty? Sunny asks. Like a, a normal red rose, or maybe a tulip? Yes, those flowers are pretty. But they're very common flowers, they say. A black rose is not only, not only is beautiful, but is also quite rare. If you could find one, it would be quite the thing to behold, don't you agree? Uh, yeah, honestly, that black rose sounds kind of cool, actually, in my opinion. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it sounds pretty cool. I, it, you say they're rare, but pff, we could totally find one, don't you think? We, yeah, yes, for sure. But they said they're rare, Sunny says. I have faith in you two. I'm sure you'll find one. And they smile. Yeah, you know what, Sunny? Have faith! We're totally gonna find some. Let's go. Okay, uh, you lead the way this time. Okay, yes. We're totally gonna find one. We're gonna find one. Have faith, trust, in pixie dust. <coughs> oh god, allergies. <laughs> As you lead the way, Sunny speaks up with concern. Or is she- do you even know where to start looking for this black rose? You pause and think for a moment. You remember Nadia making flower crowns, but you don't remember her having any black roses. Also, if these roses are so rare, it makes sense that she wouldn't have any. Now that you think about it, you realize. I- I have no idea where to find a black rose! Marshy! Don't yell! <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can't just make promises we can't keep. We need to go back and tell them we can't find one. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, no, no. We can. You can't just give up that easily. There's gotta be one somewhere around here. You pause and look around the area. You stop and look. You stop and look towards the deep forest outside the village. <gasps> oh, I know, I know, I know. We can look in the forest. Are you sure that's a good idea? What if we get lost? Don't worry about that. We just won't go that far out. But what if we can't find a rose without going far out? Um. Uh, you know what? We'll cross that bridge when we get there! Let's go! Wait, I'm not ready! Waiting's for cowards! Let's go! <laughs> uh, I guess this way. Or anyway? Are you ready? We're going into the deep. I'm starting to have second thoughts. You know what's not bad? It's just a forest. What could possibly be in the forest? What could possibly go wrong? See, it's nice- we have some normal roses right there! Wait, those are poppies. Um. Yeah, now that I think about it, how are we gonna find one of these bad boys? Do you see any roses? I, wait, there's normal roses. Okay, the, if there's normal roses, maybe we'll find a black variant very close. So we can just look around this area. Do you not know the difference between a poppy and roses? I do! This is a poppy, I think. And these are roses, right? Right? Yes. See, I'm so smart. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Look, poppies just look like roses, okay? <laughs> purple, purple, purples. Oh, foxes. Wait, are those wolves? Wait. 
They said I'm a fox, so if they're foxes, then they should be safe. Right? Did you find anything yet? The two of you make your way into the forest and look around the area close to the village. Have you found anything yet? Oh, I just asked you that question. Oh man, I thought this would be easier. The forest is huge! One of these roses could be anywhere! Should we go, go, go deeper? I'm not sure. There's a moment of silence as you both think. Um, maybe I can scout ahead. Oh yeah, you have wings! You can fly up and get a bird's eye view! Um, she flutters her wings a bit, getting a nervous look on her face. Uh, don't you think it would be better if we stayed low on the ground? We're looking for a flower! Oh, yeah, you got a good point. Unless... What if the flower grows on top of trees? Oh, let's hope they don't grow on top of trees. Sunny mutters to herself. What was that? Nothing! <laughs> Uh, okay, sorry I asked. I'm gonna go look over there now. Before you even get a chance to say anything, Sunny is already running into the forest. Well, uh, Sunny! Where did you go? I was going back to the village. Oh my god, Sunny! We can't just run off like this! Sunny! Oh no, oh no. Sunny! Ow, I just tripped on that. Oh god, what is that? Oh, I need a stick. I- Ah! Uh, stick! Stick! I need something! There's a dog chasing me! Sunny! <laughs> Stop, dog. No, dog, please! I need a stick! I need a stick! Um, I have an extra banner! I'll just whack it with this! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ow! 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 What the heck? Why? What are these things? Why are they all weird? No, stop biting! Stop! 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 Ow! 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 Oh, okay, okay, ow, 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 ow. Oh, I feel sick. 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 Oh no, oh no, oh no. Are these roses? They're not roses! Dogs! Dogs, no! I am a sunny, where are you? <laughs> why, did, uh, why did we go out here? Why did we go out here? <laughs> I'm whacking dogs with a banner because they're biting me! Ow! They're not even biting me, why am I still hurting? Ow! Oh. Do you want bread? Here! Uh, take the bread! Take the bread! <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Oh my god, there's more! <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, you know, you guys can handle it. I'm gonna go. Bye! Are they gone? Are the dogs gone? Oh! <laughs> Once the creatures are dealt with, you turn towards your saviors, still gripping the now broken banner you were once using to fight with. The two young two young men, not not much older than you, from the looks of it, stand before you, each gi giving you a look of concern. You stare at them for a moment, getting a good look at them. As you try to process everything that's happened in the past, in the last five or so minutes. Looking at them both, you know right away that they're both animate as well. Ugh. The one to your right looks to be a rabbit animate, given away by the long, slightly floppy ears on top of his head. His pale yellow eyes are narrow and serious, almost judgmental even. 
though you still notice a glint of concern in, for your well-being in them. He's about a head taller than you, and has a decent build with a few scars here and there. You know, if it weren't for the big floppy ears, you'd probably be a bit more intimidated by him. Uh... His partner, on the contrary, is a lot brighter, not only in color, but also in attitude. His bright golden eyes don't share the same judgmental look, and instead give a softer, more concerned look to you. Pult pointed wolf-like ears lay slightly back on his head, and a fluffy tail swishes behind him. He also has some some muscle and scars on him, but but he's a little shorter than his rabbit companion. You can't help but feel a bit funny that the wolf is- you can't help but find it a bit funny that the wolf is less intimidating than the rabbit. Uh, the rabbit is the first to speak. Creatures of the forest have been acting up a lot recently, he says, his voice low and calm. You shouldn't be out here alone, especially with nothing to defend yourself with. I had a banner, mind you! Um... That's not going to do you much in a situation like this. You're lucky we were in the area. You got a point. Dimitri, relax! She probably just got lost, the wolf says. I don't recognize her from the village, so she's probably not from around here. Still, you probably shouldn't be traveling alone, he continues, looking at you again. Even I wouldn't want to go alone in these woods. <laughs> says the one who's always wandering off and sticking his nose into everything, Dimitri mutters. Hey man, I'm, I'll, I always stay within earshot! Dimitri shoots a glare at him before looking back at you. Don't follow his example. We'll guide you back to the village. You'll be safer there. I, I, I need to find my friend first! They both pause, their eyes, and their eyes widen. You were with someone? I, uh, yeah, my, my friend Sunny. Wait, Sunny as in... You brought the village leader's daughter into the forest and lost her? Oh no. I didn't mean to! We were looking for something and she ran off to look somewhere else. She's probably not too far. We can just go... We? No, you're going back to the village so you don't get lost and we have two missing people on our hands. He turns to his partner. August, take her back to the village. Hang on. Wait, I, I can help find her. I, I know which way she went at least. You don't have anything to defend yourself with. And that stick is definitely not going to do you any good now. He gestures to the broken stick in your hand. I, I can get a new stick! Ugh, no! He groans in frustration and at your stubbornness. August, are you listening? Take her back to the village. Wait, Dimitri, she said she could help. Don't argue with me, August. It's bad enough that Sunny is missing. I'd rather not have another thing to worry about if this one gets lost or hurt. He looks back at you. Which way did Sunny go? Uh, over there. As much as you want to argue more, you can't. You decide it's probably not the best idea to push further. You point towards the direction you saw Sunny go in. Dimitri gives you a nod. I'll go look for her. You two go back to the village. He looks at August. August, come find me after you after you get her back. August nods and Dimitri makes his way deeper into the forest. <sighs> August waits till until he's out of earshot. August waits until you're out of earshot of Dimitri before turning to you. You want to go after him, don't you? Mm. No, it's fine. Liar. <laughs> Come on, let's get you a weapon so you... So, let's get you a weapon so when we do follow him, he'll be less likely to rip my head off after. 
He turns back towards the village and waits for you to follow. Um, are, are you sure? <laughs> It'll be fine. He does get mad. I'll take the heat. He'd probably be more upset with me anyway. Now, come on, time's a wasting. Uh, yep, yeah, time's a wasting. Okay. I don't know where the village is from here. I'm lost. I'm very directionally challenged. Do you know which way to go? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> oh, gosh.